And I have something cool that you will want to do as well, and it's coming up on October the 7th. It is the Phoenix Children's Hospital 5K run, and Erin Bratton is here with me. First of all, we just want to say you don't have to run it. You can walk it, yes. you can jog it, you can bring the kids, bring the pups. Mm -hmm. So family friendly yes, event. Yes. Okay. So that's coming up. You have plenty of time to register for that. But first let's talk about you because you have an amazing story. When you were two years old, tell me tell me what happened. My parents brought me to the primary care physicians and they thought something muscular was going on mm -hmm. with my hand. And it came out to I had a brain tumor and they brought me to PCH and they found out I had that diagnosis. Mm -hmm. And it was a real uh, fast growing tumor and um, PCH took care of it. And, and then not only that though, I mean it, it didn't, the problems didn't end there. They mm -hmm. actually thought that you would be paralyzed, that you would not be able to walk again. Mm -hmm. Devastating news, but obviously you were like, I don't accept that information and I'm gonna go ahead and, and prove you wrong. Yes. Yes, so yes. thank you so much for being here. Thank this you. is the second year of the run. Yes. You did it last year. Yes. You're doing it again this year. Yes. And also, not only that, you volunteer now at Phoenix Children's, yes. which did so much for you. Yes. So tell me what, what it's like and what people need to know about helping Phoenix Children's Hospital? It's so important to uh, give back mm -hmm. and it's so important uh, to give to your local children's hospital. Yes. I believe um, Phoenix Children's is our only dedicated children's hospital here in Phoenix. Um, I, I love doing the 5K here. It was one of my favorite events here in Phoenix. Um, so I... Well, obviously they did so much for you and yeah. your family. I mean, I can't imagine being a parent and, and hearing those words, like your baby, your infant, you know, your child has a brain tumor. Oh, your child may never walk again. Mm -hmm. So obviously they're doing such important work there. Yes. And they need all the help they can get. Yes. Whether that's, you know, donations, volunteering, <laughs> yep. obviously. I, I'm sure, tell me what that experience is like when you volunteer. It's, it's a lot of fun. I've been around a long time. I've done it for 10 years. Mm -hmm. um, and so I've done several um, activities and several events and it's just I get so much back from it yeah. um, more than I put into it and so it's just very rewarding being down there and seeing the different aspects of the hospital. Yeah. Well, and you get to see what a, an impact you make, what a difference it really makes. So you get to see it on both sides. Obviously, you're mm -hmm. getting the help from Phoenix Children's and then giving it back, obviously. Mm -hmm. So if you're feeling like, oh gosh, I don't know, a 5K sounds like a lot, don't be discouraged no. because you can do the one mile. Yes. And you were saying, you know, it's not like you're trying to be, you know, the fastest person ever. No, no, no. no. Just having a good time supporting Phoenix Children's Hospital. Yep. And again, um, that is coming up on October the 7th, starts at 6.30 in the morning downtown at a Cityscape. And again, you know, walk it, run it, yep. bring the kids, bring the pups, family yep. friendly, make some friends, yes. right? Yep. And then you'll be helping Valley Children as well. So important and yes. easy to do. Yes. So thank you so yes. much for coming thank down. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you for having me.